The road rage ends with someone firing a BB or a pellet gun at an Uber driver. Let's get right to Beth Germano. She's live in Arlington tonight with the story. Beth? And the Uber driver had just picked up some passengers in Cambridge and was heading here down Massachusetts Avenue in Arlington when those passengers started taking on another car at a red light. And before he knew it, the driver was the victim of the confrontation. For the first shot, I just hear the window quack like this. And then the second one, I hear it. It was his last run of the night. Uber driver Gital fired upon. Pellets or BBs shattering the rear window of his Saturn SUV. A near miss for him. The bullet didn't, didn't go through the, the window. It goes to the, the frame who holds the window. And then stop there. So if it, if it was in the window, today I, I, won't, I won't be here. He says it started with three trash-talking passengers he had picked up who taunted another car at not one, but three red lights on Mass Ave in Arlington. The car got behind him and lashed out, the shattered glass telling the story of the angry confrontation. Next thing I know, when they start shooting in my car. When he made a fast U-turn and called 911, they caught up with him, firing but missing through the driver door. I see my life like... That's my last day. That's the way I see myself. That's my last day because there was not, not only they shot him, they, they shot him my car and they keep spinning to see if they can reach me like closely. The 36 year old Haitian native says it was all too close, caught in a case of road rage he never instigated, but he's ready to get back behind the wheel. Yeah, I am the one who chose to do it. So if something happened to me today, it's happened. But thank God I'm still alive. And the driver says his wife will actually decide if he does drive for Uber again. In the meantime, Arlington police would love to catch up with the suspects in the blue-colored Jeep. Reporting live from Arlington, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Lisa? Thank you, Beth.